click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in this video we are going to see the comparison between TTL that is transistor transistor logic family and complementary MOSFET logic family. So in both the families, logic families, we are using a different technology. So how this different technology impact on the performance of that particular device that we can compare and we can see the which one is the more advantageous than other. So here we have the comparison point between the transistor transistor logic and CMOS that stands for a complementary MOSFET. The first one is the full form itself is explanatory it's a transistor transistor logic that means to implement this TTL logic family we use the transistor as a major component whereas if you implement the complementary metal oxide semiconductor you use the most technology that means you are concentrating on a field effect transistor technology or the major component which you are going to use that is a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor and both are the different devices because the transistor is a current control current device and FET is a voltage control current device that is a major difference between two. It uses bipolar junction transistor as we have discussed and this uses the field effect transistor and both work differently. Third, lower density than CMOS. CMOS has a greater density than TTL. We have talked about the density that if you are using a transistor transistor logic then less number of components less number of logic gates can be fabricated on the single chip but if you go for the CMOS technology you can increase the number of components which can be integrated on the similar chip that means the density of that particular device is more than TTL CMOS has a more density it has a greater density as compared to the TTL that is a good advantage of a MOS technology. It consume more power, CMOS consume less power. Since MOSFET is known for its best speed as compared to the BJT because BJT is a more immune to noise as compared to field effect transistor. If you compare BJT and FET, BJT the noise get added more than the FET. So that advantage is added more to the logic families also because in TTL we are using BJTs it is a more noisy so it is more noisy so it consume more power because more number of a resistor capacitor such kind of a passive components are used to design that particular circuit so which consume a power in a more way if you go to the MOSFET it consume a less power as compared to BJT. Fifth less susceptible to static charges and it is more susceptible to the static charges. This is also the advantage of a FET or BJT and that can be implemented with the CMOS also since we are using a transistor it is a less susceptible but CMOS is a more susceptible to the static charges. Sixth it operate at a low speed and CMOS operate at a faster speed. We have compared the speed BJT is working at the lower speed so since BJT is using in the TTL TTL is having the lesser speed than the CMOS technology so these are the advantages those need to be considered because whenever you are working with any device the speed is a more important characteristics of that device so if you are having the more speed the efficient that device will be more efficient so we can go for a CMOS as compared to TTL so these are the comparison points between TTL and CMOS you have if you have understood these points it will be easier for you to choose which device you want for the certain applications and that will be easier for you to choose the uh, component for that specific application thank you for watching this video stay tuned to ekida do subscribe ekida thank you so much